Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the vintage paper girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm excited you're here today to craft along with me. At least I hope you will. Or at least just be entertained for a little while. I don't mind that too. Or maybe you just need to listen to me while you're working on your own projects. I like that as well. So welcome everyone. So uh, how are you guys? Are you good? Everybody good? I hope so. Well, I think we should get right on it because, you know, we want to have time to play, right? So anyway, I thought I would show you the paces we were working on in our last video. This was the first one I did. And I added some bling, which I think you saw me do all the bling, right? So, oh, here's Mr. Greg. Say hello to the ladies. Hello, ladies. Thank you for all your prayers and everything. Feeling better. Thank you, honey. Bye. Bye. All right, that's Mr. Greg. He's hanging in there and getting better. So we still have a little ways to go, but we're getting there. So anyway, um, I added lace and pearls. You saw that. Then there's just little bits inside. Nothing, you know, let me see. Super exciting. Just a couple little things to go in there. Of course, you could always add more goodies, you know, just some basic little um, journaling cards. So that's the first one. This is the one I think I was working on a little bit. I can't remember, was I working on this one or did I do this off camera? I might have done this one off camera, but this one's really pretty. It's got a lot of lace and bling and, you know, and I call this my bridal one because here's one of our brides and she's got some pretty, pretty things. And then she has, what does she have? She's got some pretty little bits in there too. And what else has she got? Oh, and then she has this bigger card. Isn't that pretty? So um, that's in there. And I think that's a good one. Let me put that, oh gosh, standing up doing this. So it's hard to see and trying to see in the camera while I'm doing it. Crazy, right? And then we made this pink one, which I changed out the um, pink charm for another silver one. And I think all of this was on here from before, right? And then I added little bits of stuff. Oh, I found a Tiffany & Co. to put in there. And what else? And then we have our little bits in here. So that's what we have in this one. And I made this to go with it. Along with some little bits here, too. So this one is going to go in here like this. And that's going to go in there. And you have a nice little set. I still think I think I think I need something up here. This is bothering me. So I need either put some lace or something. Or I'm not sure. So I see as I'm looking in here that, you know, sometimes when you look at something on camera, you go, oh, that needs some more stuff. So uh, I probably have a little something to do there. And then I have a couple more pieces I'm working on, but I'll show you the next time around when they're all completely done. But I told you I would show you whatever I had done. So that's what we worked on in our last video. I'm doing a whole bunch more pieces. In fact, I found a pink, uh, an already pink envelope, pale pink. I don't know if you can tell, it's pale pink. Let's see, can I put it against something that's not pink so you could tell? There we go. See, it's a pale pink envelope. And um, I was doing another kind of a shab another shabby, well, this one's going to be roses. It's going to have rose images on it and rose bits and pieces in it, right? So uh, that's one of them that I'm working on right now. So I'm going to put those in there. And it will have a matching little... Um, guest check so there'll be a pink guest check that will go that it'll go into so this is my little stash of stuff I'm still working on so I have those and I think the only other thing I have to share with you today is I got another new beautiful rubber stamp from TaylorMade Journals I lost my last one she sent me I can't find it anywhere I kept moving it around moving it around moving it around my desk and then I redid my desk I don't know where it ended up, so I'm going to have to really hunt for it. I'm sure it's here somewhere. They couldn't have walked out of the room. But I did want to share the newest stamp I got from her. And what does it look like? See, where's the envelope? Oh, here it is. This is the stamp. Le Dor de Rose. Le Dor de Rose. La Dane, La Dana, Le Chic de Paris. 
So, isn't this pretty? Of course, mine won't be in gold. Someday I'm going to get the gold down pat. I got to ask um, Lorna to teach me how to do that. <laughs> oh, I would love to do everything in gold. You know, my stamps that are for my my kids. But for today, I'm going to use the uh, Versifying Claire pine cone. Love this. It's a nice dark brown, clear. It's for stamps that are detailed. That's what it says on it for detailed stamps, for detailed stamps and stamping. So I'm trying not to get it everywhere I don't want it, right? Just on the stamp. And Lauren is great about cutting these deep enough, so shouldn't be a problem. This is a vintage paper. So I'm not sure which side I want to do it on. And I'm going to leave it there for a couple seconds because it's sort of a textured, linen-y type paper. I want to give it a chance to soak into all the little nooks and crannies. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, because it's very textured, it's not going to be as solid as, you know, we would want. Mm, I see a few things I missed the first time. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get two on here. Because as you can see, I love to use these. You can back them onto cardstock or whatever you would like. This might be pretty in with that pink envelope. I don't think it would fit in there, actually. I use these more on some of my other, other things, you know. And I don't have a, a soft pad down either to make a good impression. Well, that's pretty. Let's try it on this paper. I want to try it on this one. This one is not as textured. It's not bright white. It's kind of a off-white. Oh, I love this stamp, Lorna. I just got to do a better job with it. And I lost my last one. I can't find it anywhere. Yes, I am whining. Lorna does such a beautiful job on them. I can't find it. I just, I kept moving it around. It's probably in with a project is my guess. Oh, pretty. Yeah, that's real pretty on there. See, it doesn't have, it has a little more solid because this paper is more solid. Probably if I put it down on a bright white flat paper, let's see how that is. Oh, Lorna, I love your stamps. Love, love, love. I would like to buy some of them that, you know, you, you went professional with them. I forget the name of the company, but they're really hard to get a hold of. So, you know, even if I find a company that carries them, by the time I find them, they're sold out. So that's great for you. That's just wonderful. I just wish they were easier to get. I wish you could get a hold of them and sell them to us. Gosh, but I guess the whole point of that was you didn't really want to keep doing that. So I can say I don't blame you. Let's see what this one does. I guess this would be really pretty on a cardstock. I do have a pink card over here that goes with that envelope. Yeah, I do. I wonder which one's the front. Oh, shoot, I rocked it. But, but, wow, that's gorgeous. Wish I hadn't rocked it. I was trying to get the one side that I missed. Dang it. Oh, I'm having fun playing with this, you guys. I don't even want to do my project. Hold on. I promise we'll get to it. Hang in. Don't quit. Don't go away. Don't go away. You know, I'm going to use these. So, you will see them in projects. Well, I'm going to have to play with that, but I do want to see what it looks like on here because I really didn't have anything that I was going to do with these cards, so I might as well put one of these on there, right? One last one, I promise. This is it. This is, uh, this is it. I just inked my thumb. Oh, let me get the dress. Now, I see the dress does have some open weave netting, so I do believe some of it's supposed to look like that. Hope I didn't just mess that up. I don't stamp enough to be like fabulous at it. When I do a lot of stamping in a row, that gets better and better and better and everything looks really good. Okay. Oh, pretty card. Yeah, I didn't. I, I need to use my stamping platform for this. 
so I can go back and catch the areas I miss. And I do have a stamp platform. I just haven't used it. But what a stunning stamp, Lorna. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful job as always. Now, you won't find these listed in her shop. If you want one, you need to send her a message on Etsy. Lorna Taylor at Taylor Made Journals. And tell her what you would like. If you saw something on one of my videos, when you saw it, if you can remember, she'll look it up and then she'll, you know... Or I'll try to help you too. So, alrighty. Because Lorna does these in limited batches. Get on her list if you like hers and you want to be able to get them. Get on her list, right? So, that's the best thing I can say about that. Now, I'm going to set this stuff aside. Let's see, where can I put this so it doesn't get all messed up? Oh, I'm being attacked by corrugated cardboard. <laughs> this came in something we got. It's huge. And it's corrugated already. We didn't have to pull it apart. So, Yes, please. My hubby goes, do you want that? And I'm like, whoa, what do you <laughs> He did save it for me. Bless his heart. He knew I would want it. Okay, I need to clean this after the video. So let me move that around. Boy, I don't have a pile of stuff to put away, you guys. All right, today's project. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Here we go. Rock and roll, everybody. Get out your stuff. Okay, what you see here is tons of embossed stuff that I have done over time. If you do not have embossed things, you can use a regular envelope or a regular un, 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 unembossed. These are go through the, Ciz, the Sizzix or the Big Shot. In my case, the Big Shot. Um, get out just a regular, you know, we do sell um, these bags, these glassine bags in our shop that aren't embossed. I don't know, is that something that I'm, would you guys want embossed bags? Let me know if you would like embossed bags in the shop. Um, we could do like, I could do like a set of them, you know. I'd only put a few in there, so. But I have all different embossed folders here that I use. So what I want to do is decorate some of this. It's sitting here in my drawers and in my, my pouches and doing nada. So I thought, well, let's, let's do something with them, right? Let's make something out of them. And I saw Gail was decorating hers. But, of course, you know, I'm going to do my my version and so I thought well let me get out my stuff and let's see what we can do I would like to I want to I don't know color this is the right color or not but this is a really pale pink but I'm looking for something a certain width right Ooh, not wide enough I need something wider okay seems like lately it's either too wide or too narrow I can never seem to find the right and I've got a million laces but I can't seem to find the right width. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute. I'm looking through my little laces. I was going to use pink there, but maybe I will go with a different color just to make sure I get something much wider. Yeah, that might work. Okay, and now I have some little images because we're going to want to decorate these with butterflies, flowers, um, little girls, ladies, some of the beautiful flowers from Claudia at Timeless Crochet for you. So I figured, you know, we could do like a bit of everything if I can get it going here, if I can get off my patootie here. Yeah, I want a piece of lace, but I feel like that's just, there's something on my mind that, that I want to put on there and I just have not found the piece. Like I want to do, oh, what about one of these? It's white, which is fine. That's heavy, though. That's too heavy for the bag. It's a very heavy um, crocheted lace, which would not probably work there. Let me... I just had something cross my mind. I don't know what it was. Maybe one of these. Let me look on my... Oh! Um, ow, my knee. Don't mind me. Um... Ooh, this is really pretty. Let's do that. I don't know. We'll just leave some of this stuff out. How's that? We'll just leave it out because it's going to be easier for me if I just leave things out, right? I think that'll be... This is a lovely embossed envelope. Um, and what I want to do is put something really pretty like this on there to go on the edge. I think I'm going to do a double lace because I feel like it needs, what do I have here? 
These are my scrapple was along with other stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Would that look good with that? Mm, no, but I really like that. And I'm going to want to use it on one of them. You know, I'm gonna. What do I just do with my pen? My pen. Why am I using little pins like that? I went and bought myself brand new pins. Oh, see this little, I've had this since I was maybe 10 or 12. When I first learned to sew, my mom gave it to me. She said it was my grandma's, but it seemed like it was brand new. So I don't think so. I think I remember it coming in a, a kit, uh, like a sewing box. She bought me a sewing box for my 13th birthday. So, but I think I had that before that. I'm not sure, but yeah, I've had it a long time. Okay, let's put this on there. Let's glue it on. I'm just taking too much time. I'm sorry. We're not going to get anything done because I was playing with my rubber stamp. I'm going to be playing when I get done with the video too because I want to get that down and I, I would love to do that in the gold. <laughs> do you hear the birdies? Hear them? Oh my gosh, the chimes, the birdies, my fountain. I have a fountain outside my window. I have a little bit of everything to keep me in a place of zen, which I could use these days, right? Okay, so. Oh gosh. My hand dye's not so great today. Okay. Then I was thinking, you know, I could just put like a, a smaller lace down through the middle. Almost makes like a belly band, right? Now, sometimes I do cut my laces larger and you think, oh, it's a waste. But to get a nice clean edge, to get it where I want it to end, where I want the pattern to end, I'm very particular about my patterns on my lace. So like if I want the whole thing to show, sometimes I have to cut it longer to make sure it ends on a right on the right piece. So you don't have to use lace. You could use strips of paper, um, cardboard, whatever you want to use, scrap of paper across. I'm using the, the end. Of, the reason I'm doing this the way I am is because the end of this envelope did not get embossed. The embossing, the embossing folder was too short. Now I don't throw this bits of lace away so there's no wastage. As you know, I keep them. So, and I use them on little projects. In fact, I have a little box that those go in and I use them. Alrighty, now that looks really pretty. So I would love to put an image with that. We could do a sweet little girl. We could do some ladies. I'm looking to see if I have ladies that are kind of like in a pretty pink. This one's really pretty. Let's try this one. These are Shabby Dabby Doodah Fashion Something. And they're great done to look like a stamp or if you want to cut them fancy, which is what I should be doing instead of trying to cut them out perfectly, right? So let me, let me see if I can... Now, this is a nice scalloped little cutter, right? Now, many of you have these little scallop scissors. Did you know that if you turn your scallop scissors upside down, so you're holding them in an awkward way, right? Your middle finger is through the little part, your thumbs through the big part when usually it's that. Guess what edge you get? You get a stamp edge. If you flip your scissors over, you get the stamp edge. It makes a nice, lovely, perfect stamp. So when you want to cut out stamps, just flip your scissors over. And so many of you have these. That's all you have to do. Isn't that cool? And I think this is going to need something behind it, like, I don't know, a flower or a... Um, uh, something. It needs something behind it. 
like I want a flower, but I don't want one that has something on it already. I'm looking to see if I have any in this little box that don't already have a big something attached to it. You know what I mean? Like a pearl or... Yeah, most of these have stuff attached to them. I want something underneath it. Oh, I, I know. I think I know. Let me see if in my, I don't think I want a medallion, but I do have the, my rounds. The only thing is I don't think they're big enough. Is that a bigger one? I don't think I want gold, but I need something bigger, right? So, hmm. Well, that's not going to work. Oh, I have one of these. What if I ink this? That'd be cool. That'd make a nice little, just a quick little decoration. You know, guys, I just put this on here, but it already looks terrible. make sure this is the I think I the other day I got the lids mixed up and I had the pink on the Victorian velvet on the vintage photo Whew. messed up my my inkers so I had to put a, a new pad on this one because it just got damaged so badly um that looks okay it's a little blah don't you think I just don't think it's very pretty. It's like it needs something else, and I don't know what. Well, I know what I add when I can't find anything I like. I usually add a piece of sparkle something or other. I want to keep these simple, but I don't think I know how. <laughs> think I know how. Maybe I could just put that on there. No. So play with your scissors. You know, if you've got any of those decorative scissors from your scrapbooking days, play with them a bit because you may come up with something really fun and very interesting um, on your envelopes. I'm debating. Well, all right, just do it. Just do it. If you don't like it, you could just cover it up or take it off or I don't know. I feel like it's too blah. I picked the wrong color. I should have done the Victorian velvet. Here, let me close this before I do it again. There we go. Just to add a little, I don't know how much of it you'll see, but I felt like Okay. Let's try this again. I have to use the fabric check because we're putting it on lace. I feel like there needs to be something like exciting going down there, like a piece of velvet or I don't know. So much for easy, right? I don't know the meaning of the word. Simple. Can't do it. It's got to be fancy or I'm not happy. whole point is to just decorate your envelopes give them a little something something so that when you put something in it it's not so blah then you can put your envelope or your pocket or whatever you're working with on the cover of your well not on the cover but on a page I guess that's what I mean okay 
I'm going to keep that upside down because I know we're using it today. All right. So there's one down. Probably wasted all my time on that. Now, I don't have a lot of um, embossed envelopes, but I do have a bunch of embossed bags. I said envelopes earlier, but I meant bags. So, like this one doesn't have anything on the bottom. Is that the back side? No, that's the front side. Is that the front or the back? Let me look. Oh, and look it. I even did some of the um, coin envelopes. I embossed some of those. Aren't those fun? I just want to do some. And I have some teeny tiny little ones too. Aren't they cute? Yeah, I had one of those days where I was just the embossed heaven. Oh, I even have the embossed um, CD hook covers. I have those. What else do I have? Oh, I have the great big ones. Oh, and I even have the little paper bags. Aren't these cute? We can have fun with that too. That I did have. Oh, and I have the long uh, silverware ones that I've embossed. So I just had fun one day. Oh, gosh, my, my um, left hand's really bothering me, guys. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we could cover this up, couldn't we? We really, really could. So what have I got to cover that with? Just put a little piece of lace or applique, uh, something like that on there would be good. I'm just checking my, my laces here to see what I have to play with. Um, oh, okay, I see some things. I see those. I see some of this. Yeah, I, I went through this. I went right through this last time. Oh my goodness. I loved it so much. I used it on everything. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now, this is kind of cut wonky. So, I'll cut it off and it will become a dangle. And you can get this lace in our shop. Design, journal, and supply. Mm, this one is also in the shop. Some of these others are not, but those are. Those I know for a fact are in the shop. Some of them we've sold out of, so don't quote me, because even though I might think they're in there, by the time this video comes out, they may no longer be in there. So um, if I tell you they're in the shop, they were when I made the video, but sometimes by the time the video comes out, it's already, you know, sold out. We went through a massive amount of lace, you guys. You Thank you, thank you. You are awesome. You went in and you just bought us out. We love it. Love, love, love that you do that. So this is a paper bag, and this makes a nice pocket here, right? And you could I would I would say it's a good tag bag. And I'm going to put the lace on. And some kind of a pretty little image. I have to find out the front from the back, though. Oh, there we go. It wasn't what I thought it was. Or where I thought it was, actually. There we go. See, that'll make, when you close that, it'll make a little pocket. And you don't need to do much to it because it's already looking fabulous. You've already got a pocket there. I mean, you could fold it up and make another pocket, but I didn't want to do that on this one. I don't mind this is tall. Let's see, how tall is this? This is the seven inch. We have these bags. The seven inch bag is in our shop. It's seven by three and a half. So yeah, we do have this particular bag in the shop. Now I can layer, fun, it's super fun to layer laces. It really is. I wanna see if I wanna layer this lace on top of that. I keep trying to use this lace. Oh yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. This is a pretty lace. I don't know where I got this, one of the shops. 
It could have been Lavish Laces or one of the others. I don't remember where I got this one. I'm going to say this one maybe came from Lavish Laces. It isn't in our shop. It's not one of ours. This was long before I purchased this, long before we had any kind of um, store or thought about even doing a store. And I'm still buying from other shops because they have things we don't have, so. And I use a lot of lace, as you know, so for a lot of projects. these are sharp this lace is thick the border lace oh my gosh that's thick goodness gracious it's thick mm. makes a mess when I trim it oh beautiful just beautiful and let's see I just want to add a little uh, something on here in the middle. That's pretty. I have a bunch of these that she made. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going through these so fast, Claudia. I'm gonna have to have some more cream beige ones. I just love them. There we go. That's good. That's good. Yeah, there weren't as many of those as there were the pink ones. Oh my goodness, those pink ones are to die for. I don't really want to put pink on this one because I really don't know, um, you know, what this is going to go in. Let's see, do I have these in another small piece? Mm, not the right size. I cut that this stuff by the truckload and I'm always using it up. I use every drop of that. I don't waste any of it. Let's put this on here. Ah, it sounds like someone's getting a new roof. Or they're building something. I can hear the pounding and all that good stuff that happens usually when you're getting a new roof installed. We have had some really high winds, so I would imagine there's a few people that lost a roof or a fence or a garage or something. Some of the homes in the area are pretty old. Um, so I live in a newer, newer area. It's still 20 years old, but it's considered one of the newer areas. It's not the newest. Of course, there's brand new homes here. I'm going to move that up because I want it to be up there. Isn't that pretty? What a great way to decorate a bag. And then you just fill it with goodies, right? I mean, I would, at some, I may put something else up here. There could be like an image or something up here, a lady or something. But until I know what I'm going to do, I think that's fine. You know, just giving it a little decor. The whole point is to, to decorate up your embossed bags or your regular bags are fine. Um, now this one doesn't have anything at the bottom. Oh, I have a pretty pink lace that I don't even know where this came from. I want to say this might have come from Lavish Laces. Or there's another gal I buy from. I'm trying to think of her name at the moment. She hasn't come to me yet. Oh, pretty. Pretty. I found it wrapped around something and it, it was just a horrible mess, so I had to put it on a card. I mean, it would be great to have like a little picture down there of some kind or um, another one of the ladies. Do I want any more ladies down there? Oh, maybe. Hmm. This time I'm turning my scissors upside down and I'm getting this stamp look. And I don't need it to be so tall. 
And you can see my thumb's through the wrong place. That's how you, when you turn it upside down, how you have to cut it. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one or not. Okay. That would be pretty. I'm using two different color inks on this. I kind of pick up the pink in the, the uh, lace. This is vintage, oh, Victoria, Victorian velvet. Yeah, real pretty. Let's see the bottom of this bag doesn't have anything on it. I definitely need some fabric tack up at the top here. This feels like tatting this lace. It's tiny. It's very delicate. Very, I don't know what you'd call it, but it's very delicate. Oh, that's pretty with the dangle on the bottom. I like this, but I'm struggling. To find something appropriate behind that, I, that I'm enjoying, you know. Oh, I know. Maybe. Okay, that kind of changed the shape a little bit. I'm thinking I have these. They're not really cream. Let me see if I have a cream daisy here. <sighs> Off-white or cream or something like that. I'm checking my boxes here to see what I have. Don't mind me. <sighs> Remember I said that I would have pieces that, you know, I just throw them in the box. Ooh, here's something I could put behind it, maybe. I don't know. That doesn't seem big enough. That's a little bigger one, maybe. There's a big piece, but that's too big. There's pink, but I've already got pink. I don't want another pink. Let me see before I, I've got everything in my hand. Don't mind me, just ignore me for a minute. Oh, no, that won't work. Won't work, not big enough. Okay. Yeah, all my flowers are not big enough. They're all too small. Cause I have like the little daisies here. I need a bigger daisy than that. Or a bigger flower. And I know I have them, you guys, but I just don't know where I have them at. I don't know where they're at. I don't know where I put them all. Let me see what I have here. It's like it needs to go up and down or across or... Let me see. That's a cream daisy, but it's not big enough. Hmm. Where are they? Gosh, you guys, I'm going crazy. I know I have them. Are, wait, are there any in here? It doesn't have to be cream, it could be white. I just want something that does not have a bigger something that does not have a bead, like something like this, but not beads. And I know I bought some. I know it, I know it, I know it. I just don't know where it is. Mm. It's too big. I 
egg. Okay, well. Oh, I think this box would be the box. Yeah, but those daisies aren't big enough. The ones I'm thinking of are not big enough. I thought they would be. I just saw them, but they're not big enough. Darn it. Everything I have is too small or too huge. There doesn't seem to be anything in between. Okay. Well, that's frustrating. Let me look in here. Oh, okay. Something just came to mind. This has a lot of pink, but sometimes I have other. Oh, pink isn't bad, right? Not that big though. Something like this that we could put on there. Yeah. I give up. I give up. Okay. Maybe no image. Maybe the images just aren't going to work for me today, right? I have butterflies. Maybe I should use one of my big butterflies. Let's see, where are my butterflies? Don't mind me. And I have paper flowers. Maybe that's what I need to use. Or just put one of those on there and let that be it. That's really pretty. That's pretty. Maybe I'll just do that. But I also like that. So, I've got more than one bag. I'm just gonna do that. It doesn't have to be over the top. It really doesn't, you guys. This has a lot of layers here. That are supposed to be up like that. But they get smashed and it's sitting in the bowl. So isn't that pretty? Just a little something on your bags to make them pretty. Let me see what time it is. If I'm running out of time, I probably am. Yeah, I'm almost done, darn. I've got so many ideas. This one's pretty. I feel like it needs like a lace along the bottom, like a, like a this a lace, like a this a lace. Oh, how pretty. Yes, I love that lace. This is one of my new favorite, favorite laces. I don't think we have this in the shop. It's got little roses on it. You can go look. I don't know if we have that in the shop. You'd have to go look. I don't think so. I don't think it's one we... I think it's just in my personal stash. I don't think it's one I put in the shop because I think it's a kind of a really expensive lace and it would be real pricey. The markup would be too high for you guys. And I'm going to put that on one side. Oh, I love it. Of course, now I'm getting going. I'm going to have like a million of these because I'm going to make a whole bunch. I'll probably put them in the shop. And this is just a little coin or seed. I think this is a seed packet actually, not a coin envelope. This one's a seed packet or I guess you could call it a coin envelope. Oh, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. And I did put it on the front instead of the back. Lovely. Okay. Now I have this one and I was thinking that I have this beautiful lace. And that would look fabulous on there. Or I could use, yeah, let's see. Maybe I would use this one instead. Just put like one on there. Let me put this down. Put one at the top maybe. And then put a little flower in the middle. That would be really cool. Let's do that. Another lace I use very sparingly. 
I love this color. It's so beautiful. It's like, well, if I do that, do I want to put like anything else there? Nope, that's just a little bit different. We used to have these in the shop, but I believe they're sold out. So, like I said, you guys have done a good job of buying us out. We still have lots of stuff in there, don't get me wrong. And there's new stuff going in every single day. Every single day. Not me. You hear my chimes? Beautiful. It's windy today. Beautiful day. Not hot, not cold, just right. I'm sorry, this side is bugging me. I have to clean it up. There we go. Let me put that in there. And let me add a little... <sighs> so you can see I'm just having fun playing with the things in my stash. Things I've collected along the way. But you could just put like a little scrap of lace and a little picture or a little butterfly and that's all you need, right? You don't need to go crazy like I'm doing because that's just me. You do you. Whatever you like is what you should be doing. Ouch. Oh, someone asked me uh, for butterflies. I, I, I'm not going to be putting any back in the shop for a little while. I made, I don't know, over... 200 of them and they sold immediately so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with those uh, but you know I'll do my best to get them back in there again someday they were these kind of butterflies I do have some um, paper clips like that that I'm going to be finishing someday so there you have that one I normally would put a little pearl in the middle of it let me go see what our time is I bet you we are out of time I have a feeling that we are done for the day that went so fast you guys oh I really enjoyed stamping with you and having a good time I really wanted to use these cute little girls by Artsology but I didn't get to it so I think I have another project that they're going to go into their watercolor they're beautiful I'm just cleaning up a little bit. I have such a mess on my desk. My goodness gracious. Wow. <sighs> we did make a mess, didn't we? I was hoping to get more envelopes done. But probably if I hadn't done any stamping. But I love to stamp. And it was fun. And I never have time. So. And I wanted to share Lorna's beautiful stamp with you guys. So there you go. Um, let me show you what we did today. Gosh, there's stuff everywhere. Okay, so these are what we made today. This one took quite a bit. I, I took up too much time with that one because I was, you know, so excited by it. Yeah. And then we did some lovely stamping. So there you have it. You can just do all kinds of things with your bags. And so... When I get done with the video, I think I'm just going to keep going and see see what else I can come up with and what other fun I could have. Just doing a little bit of decorating on a bag that you just glue it in as a pocket, put in a tag, and boom, you filled up a, a journal page. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you will come back and visit me again very soon. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a fabulous day and i will see you all very soon hugs and kisses love you guys bye bye